30 seconds, we go from living room to bedroom. Oh, and look, it's got little feet. This room is 242 square feet. It expands from your bedroom to your living room, to your home office, to your walk-in closet. This is the most futuristic apartment ever designed, and not only are we 54 floors above Manhattan, renting an apartment like this is gonna save you thousands of dollars a month over something that might have to be bigger to fit all the same stuff. And you're saving money on moving costs because your bed and your sofa is already here. Oh, it comes with all this stuff. Yeah. And this building's in one of the most convenient parts of town. Literally right next door, Bezos Farm. There's a sweet green. And that, my friends, is the High Line Park. And this massive silver building, these are all the shops at Hudson Yards. Plus there's real Mexican food. There's even a private tennis court. Up here's the High Line Park extension, which I haven't seen yet. Elevator's nice. Oh, that's great. Literally, this is like having a backyard where you can sit with strangers, watch these guys build this building, and obey these rules. I've actually never been to this mezzanine level area before. It feels like a raised city, and that's kind of what it is. And look at that, you got the ESB right there. This is what the future of New York is going to look like. And it fits nicely with the apartment we're seeing today. Yeah, how do I get to 54J? What's up? Hey, how's it going? I want one. Can I have one? You can find all our apartments that are available for rent at rent.oriliving.com. But we've got apartments in New York, San Francisco, Boise, Buffalo, Fort Worth, St. Louis, Portland, Los Angeles, everywhere. When a developer says, hey, I wanna put these in my building, how does that help them? The studios are kinda of hard to rent, right? Nobody wants to live in a shoebox. It makes a studio much more comfortable and functional and feel more like a one bedroom. So that's a win for the landlord, makes it easier for them to rent. They can put a little bit of a premium on a studio unit, but still less than the one bedroom. So this apartment rents for about $4,600, luxury brand new building in Hudson Yards. The one bedrooms, however, rent for $6,400. So it's an $1,800 a month difference. So this saves you almost $2,000 a month and you still have a separate sleeping area. How many things does it do? Office, walk-in closet, living room, bedroom, and I can think of a lot of fun ways to spend $2,000 a month in New York City. So can you. Apparently, in the future, we will still use ovens and cook our own food. Um, what that food will be, that's another topic of discussion. Do we have to wash our own dishes in the future? Oh, sweet. We got machines for that. Awesome. Also, in the future, Starbucks will still be around. Keurigs will still be around. That's a good thing, though. Keurig has improved. This is not bad. Now, normally this kitchen would take up half the available space in this apartment. And that's just a reality of living in New York City. There's only so much place to put things. Is there a certain minimum size for a functional kitchen? There probably is. I would say so. We've got about two feet of width here. I don't think you could pull anything out of that oven if it were any narrower. Yeah, look at that. If this gets any smaller, it's gonna be like difficult to use. And honestly, even without any of the modifications that we have in this place, it renting for $4,500 plus, that's normal in this city. Where's our coat closet? You got one immediately on your left when you come in. Okay. It's not the prettiest. But it's big. And then this is another one. This is like a pantry. Washer dryer. Oh, okay. Not every luxury apartment has laundry. So Andrew, let's say I've just made food I'm hungry, mm. where's my kitchen table? What do I do? I'll show you. That is awesome. How many square feet does this little micro office take up? This is incredible. Yeah, so basically it's like an entertainment center when it's closed. And okay. When it's open, you got a full office. Ooh, look at that, everything moves. This is more office than I have in my two bedroom. And it came out of the wall. Everybody needs good lighting for their Zoom calls now. So you got some nice soft lighting in here. You got your stand up desk on the back side. Oh, that's what this is right here. Mm -hmm. Ah. And then your chair, you don't have to move it out. It's got a little cubby for it. This is an incredible amount of pocket storage. Right now, there are people living in apartments in New York that have kitchens 
with less cabinet and shelf space than this. Look, everything opens, you got drawers, shelves for books that will help you sleep well at night. So we've got almost three feet at the narrowest point here. And I just love how everything is so easy to work with. Look, everything slides perfectly. You could invite people into your library and pick out a book. What did you get, anything good? I've read this one. But there's one thing about this that I can't seem to figure out. How did it move? There's no train track for it. What's going on? So come over here. This little track on the ground is the guidance track, what provides it power. It's basically this really strong double-sided tape that sticks it to the ground so you don't have to make permanent changes to the unit to install it. So this installation, which seems really solid, it doesn't damage the apartment in any way. Exactly. You can put in anything. Now we still have a whole bunch of other tricks to see, but look at how little space this takes up. Like, look at that. The living room remains usable even if you're in the office. Yes, it's very easy to close, but if you did want to leave it open, it comes to about where the rug is. And whether it's up or down, everything here works nicely. It's a walk-in closet. The bathrobe looks good on you, man. Thank you. You look comfortable. There's enough room in here to get dressed. Absolutely. You're a shoe guy, right? Well, I, mean, I, I have shoes. You got your shoe racks here. Oh, that's what this is. Put all your Jordans on display. Okay. Now over here, we can see the train tracks and it's just enough so that you can have this big full length mirror. And the shelving in here isn't fake. I mean, these are big. This is what you'd want in an apartment. So you can see here, we've installed it against the existing built-in closet to really double the storage space you have rather than just have normal closet doors. But you could install this against any wall and we actually have a static backside of it that can be installed. So you could put a closet in a room that doesn't even have a closet. So you can turn any corner of your tiny apartment into a dressing room with this system. Wait, where's my coffee? Did I leave it in here? There it is. Now, anyways, back here in the closet, we've got hangers on two levels and we actually have two of these. So already it's big, significantly bigger than the built-in storage the apartment came with already. So this is how the interface works. You touch it once and now it has controls. You can control the light. If you want to just close it, it's just one touch. And it doesn't make a lot of noise. No. I don't, it's not like like we're at a factory. It's just, it's very quiet. Does this have any special, um, oh, it does. If I lived here, this would be my secret bar. Oh yeah? yeah. It could totally work for that. Look at all that room you got in there. What do you call this part of the apartment? Could be a second workspace, could be your kitchen table, could be your hidden bar, whatever you want. It's a nice little multi-use table. It has a little hole, so that could be a monitor, and yeah, you could have like a keyboard under it. Like in some of other apartments, like this would serve as the entertainment center, so you could put your TV here, you got your grommet so you can wire it. And before we check out the bed, you can see that here the entertainment center is built into the back of the office. Is this a TV or a picture? Yeah. It's a, oh, it is a TV. Right. So next to the closet, we have the seating area. It's enough to get comfortable. Very comfortable. Do some chillaxing. And what's also great about this is I don't feel like we're in some claustrophobic space. I mean, that's enough room to feel like Oh, I wish I had a bigger TV. And it also doesn't feel like we're in a, a cluttered place either because everything is tucked away and like hidden pretty much. All that storage. And then we've got the little reading nook. I like this. This is a good idea even if you don't live in one of these apartments. Because if you look under these cushions, this was our windowsill and it's right there next to the view. By the way, this particular place, this view is like untouchable. You can see some sailboats and some jet skis crossing paths. I'm sure there's a rivalry there. And that over there is downtown Brooklyn. We're on the 54th floor, much higher up than any of the surrounding properties, except maybe this one, which is mocking us off in the distance. And way over yonder, you can see the Statue of Liberty. There it is. And that is actually the Highline Park right down there. If I go under it, will it stop? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not stopping. Well, it's gotta hit your head. Oh, okay, it has to make contact. Yeah, ah! <laughs> you're all right. It's a uh, 20 It pounds. didn't crush me. <laughs> What's the resistance set to? 20, it's like two finger push. Okay, so. yeah, that wasn't that bad. All right, let's test it on an employee of the company. It's gonna get mad at me, but it's not gonna hurt me. Oh, it kind of yells at you. Yeah, it's like, hey, dummy, yeah. I'm trying to make a bed for you. If you want to know which of your friends is taller, you guys can stand here and have a little competition. Let's see who wins. I've lost. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I, don't, it. I don't win many of those competitions. What size bed is this? This is a queen. Do you sell it in like a king and, and like a full or is it all, all? In a full, yes. We used to have a king model. Not many people are buying king's beds in studio apartments. Okay. This is nice. 
Can we send you to the ceiling? Does it go up if I'm on it? Oh, okay. He yells at you again. He yells at you again, yeah. I'm no engineer, but the way it works, there's counterweights behind this panel here. Okay. So that means the motor that moves it, it's, uh, it's balanced by the bed. So the motor doesn't have to be very big. So it's a pretty small motor. So it's actually not physically strong enough to lift a person. So that's what makes it intrinsically safer. Mm, okay. So bedding isn't going to be an issue. No. And then if this did get up to the ceiling, it would stop itself. And there's even a gap, right? So because it doesn't touch the ceiling, if there was something on here, it it's not gonna get damaged in any way. Can you push the office out? I wanna see what the dis distance is with the office and the bed out at the same time. So this is what it looks like with everything out. The office, the bed, the closet. It's like a little labyrinth, but there's enough room. Everything fits like perfectly. I guess if you wanted your TV to be closer to you, you could leave the office open because now it's like right there. You got like the IMAX experience that way. Also, Andrew, did you know that um, this becomes a feeding tray for you? You can have breakfast in bed. Did you know that? That's luxury. What I would probably be tempted to do is since I would be using the office a lot, and I like how it looks when it's open. I might just leave the office like in the open position more often than not. But then if I was having people over, I could retract that and have my living room back. So you could stop it like at a certain point or use arrows. Oh, that's what the arrows are for. So you can say, I want a thin office, a big office. Interesting. What if I have to go to the bathroom? Does that pop out of the wall here or no? Uh, no, it's just the toilet. Did we miss it? Is it by the door? Oh, it is. Okay, all right. Okay, this is what I was worried about, but it has a nice normal bathroom. We're not like camping or anything. No robots in here, but you know, you've got the throne. Throne, the seat of achievement. I like the mirrors that you guys have. That's because again, we're in a luxury apartment. It's very flattering light. Dude, what's your skincare routine? Uh, you know, my wife's got me on something. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta work on this. Water pressure in here is good. Got ourselves a nice big tub with the wand. But if you wanna save money in a big city, you gotta to talk to Andrew's company, Ori. Right here, you can check them out. They got apartments all over the, the country, the world. All over the country. All over the country. That's coming next. See you in the next video.